Every time I step on the stage, I hope to bring my A game and end each poem with that perfect mic drop. But you see, I ain't gotta look back too far to find a dark, desolate time where I was just trying to survive and avoid a different type of mic drop. Let me clarify, my name is Mike, male, 38, white, and while it sounds like I'm listing off some of my unearned privileges, there is a little more to it. Did you know that according to the CDC, adults 35 to 64 account for 46.8% of the suicides in the United States, so I guess it was a coin flip that I tried to do it. According to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, white men accounted for 70% of the suicide deaths in 2021. And as I rattle off these statistics, the only thing I think I can say is I'm honestly thankful that I do not own a gun. Now I know I have the freedom tonight to speak as I wish, but I feel like this poem should come with a trigger warning. Because if I did own that gun, then my boys would be probably experiencing something called I can't believe my daddy pulled the trigger morning. Now thankfully, my boys still have the ability to be hugged by their father and they do not have to mourn me. But why the fuck do we hide these statistics from people? Why do I gotta go looking? Why couldn't someone just warn me? One death by suicide every 11 minutes, a 36% increase from 2000 to 2022, and I would be lying if I told you I didn't wanna become one of those statistics. I know it's sad, but it's fucking true. And if it's okay with you, I would like to share a few ways I stepped close to the edge but could never quite follow through. And if you take anything away from what I'm about to share, please know that you are absolutely not alone if any of this feels like you. Because I've grabbed the knife from the knife block and I've sliced and diced and sliced, but I knew I was only scratching the surface. So I sat in my closet with a tie around my neck and I tied it to the doorknob and I sat hoping to fade to black, but then I got nervous. So I pressed the gas pedal to the floor in hopes that the car would drift off the road so I could slowly just drift away. And I put enough pills in my body way past the limits my prescription suggested, hoping I wouldn't see the following day. I've hoped to die, prayed to die, attempted to die, but I'm still here. Why? I'm not a miracle, I'm not invincible, but I'm still here, so now I try. I try to display a vulnerability that made me mistake of a weakness because I know there are people who felt or feel the way that I feel. So you better believe when I get on this stage, I'm gonna talk about this shit versus pretending that it ain't real because then maybe someone or multiple someones will avoid becoming the next statistic. And maybe there's someone right here, right now. And did you know according to the same research, 94% of adults think suicide could be prevented, so what the fuck? Let's talk about how. I mean, I am not an expert, but when I feel seen, when I feel I belong, when I feel loved, I wanna live and I want nothing to do with death. And most definitely I wrote this poem to help other people, but it's also a reminder myself that I deserve to take every single breath. The American Foundation for Suicide Prevention says telling your story can help save lives. So here I am, a 38-year-old white male just trying to tell my story. Because rather than live in regret for things I wish I could forget, I'd rather tell it myself than someone fucking tell it for me. So I'm fully aware that one poem and one poet does not have the ability to make this suicide spike stop. But at the very least, I am humbled to be on the stage at Ghost tonight instead of being a ghost tonight to end this poem with the right type of mic drop.